six fifty four. It's like too early for coffee for me. <laughs> you know, the doctor's appointment. I hope there's no traffic. I think it's at eight o'clock a.m. It's too early. You know, even even at 6:50, waking up, it's it looks like there's gonna be shit traffic in South Miami. Wow! The guys wow. in the Tesla say they had a great night yesterday with Drake concert. And this guy is saying. There's already a line for today's concert. Drake's two days. There's already people sitting down in line for today's concert. So we do it again. Screen grab from their premiere ride yesterday. $72 premiere ride, $27 premiere ride, 18 minutes, $19 premiere ride from Club 11 to Fountain Blue. They already they're already talking like, yo, whoever isn't in the Tesla has got to start thinking about renting it again. I'm like, easy there, easy. There's not a Drake concert every fucking day yet, you know. I'm still, I'm still gonna wait patiently. But it's, it's, you know, it's good to see them, the people that kept the Teslas see a day like they haven't seen in a while. So, it's like the first signs of life. But I need consistency. I I, I can't just rent a Tesla because we're going to get a we're going to get a few premieres on a on a you know, concert weekend, you know? But what about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? I guess yesterday was Thursday, but you know what I mean? I need consistent people down here ordering premieres. And, uh, you know, once they start saying, here's my barometer. Once they start saying, I don't turn Uber X on. I don't turn Uber X on. I remember that was a thing. It's like, why do you have X on? Oh, no, I don't have X on. I don't do X. Some of them, and <laughs> the shit last year was like, I never have X on. I'm like, really? Well, you better have Exxon right now. <laughs> because if you don't have Exxon right now, you're not making any money. Tesla or no Tesla. All right. <sighs> Let's go to our clinic. All right, I'm at the clinic. It is 727. I'm putting the camera in the glove box. All right. Well, that was quick. It's 9.09. What the hell happened? All right. Got out of the uh, <clears throat> clinic. <laughs> See my, my family doctor here. I told her about the accident, blah, 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 that I've been going to the pain clinic. I told her that it was not some rinky-dink place, that the guy who runs it actually used to be one of the head guys here at Jackson. She said, uh, all good. I told her that the that I'm at the tail end of it. That I told her the procedures they gave me. She said it was fine. Um, I told her my hip pain is the same. If anything, it feels better. <laughs> so that's a positive sign. And we just scheduled uh, another date for blood work to see how all my enzymes are doing. And then another date to talk about the blood, the lab results. So far, so good. Business as usual. Uh, set up another appointment for the... Um, ortho to talk about the future and you know the problems with my hip and what we are going to do about it eventually hopefully by next year um, you know it 
it's likely that I will need to get a hip replacement sooner or later. So I want to do it when I can have the time and the and not be so stressed and have some time to recuperate. So that's that. And um, nothing. Everything's fine. Now we're going home. We're going to edit the video that is probably already up. The Drake concert. And we're all good. So I'm going to do a diamond transition now since I don't plan on vlogging my entire morning and everything. We're just going to go. I'll probably go to physical therapy today later and then start doing airport runs and work the Drake concert again tonight. Diamond transition. Diamond transition. All right. Well, back from the diamond. It is 3.02 p.m. I'm stuck on Miller Drive traffic, uh, getting to the physical therapist. Has there anybody noticed that after the pandemic, just everything in general is more difficult to do? Just everything, not even financially, just it's difficult to find time for things. Um, it's difficult to just survive everything. My um, my condo association just raised the uh, um, the association fee, you know, a lot by a lot, and it was already too much. Uh, it's and it's not like they're gonna they have a project coming up or they have to do some landscaping or they have to like do trash removal. No, everything is it looks just the same. Nothing gets solved, but. You know, it went up like 160 bucks a month. Okay, great. They're just trying to make it impossible to live there because they want to keep building high rises for luxury uh, condo units and um, UM uh, little UM schoolgirls whose parents pay for it all. And um, well, I'm gonna keep paying my little, my meager little mortgage and condo rent. But come. Come that big developer comes and offers all of us, all owners, 300 grand, let's say, for our units. Okay, great. Now I have 300 grand. What do I do then? There's, I can't go anywhere. Where am I going to buy? I can't buy a brick. Brickle? You're poor for 300 grand. You know? What that fucking move to Kendall? I'm living in one of those goddamn uh, apartment units without the elevators and the, on the third floor which is DoorDasher's nightmare to deliver to. Basically, you have to live in a fucking, a prison that's painted nicer. All right, stop it, Jamario. Little bit of a dark clouds. They said it was gonna rain today as well, off and on. So I do see that in the uh, forecast here. But what are we gonna do? My damn traffic on A26. This is a new thing from Miami. There used to, it's three o'clock. There used to never be traffic going north. Like, what is this? I forgot to mention, guess who's back? That's right. It's the number one scent you can get. Best scent, mango pineapple. I uh, forgot to mention this last night. I, uh, I um, found this at a, at a, what was it, a Chevron or something, it was like dug deep behind their, their uh, car fresheners. The only, the only thing that gets compliments in my car, the only smell that it's gotten compliments, you'll get compliments if you use this. Now, I've been using the fucking cherry bomb because I didn't find the best scent anywhere else but the cherry bomb not one person mentioned anything and I've been spraying it between rides but this shit the best scent and specifically the mango pineapple this shit people notice and people will tell you 
and I'm not getting paid from that company to say that, all right? And if I do, I would say it because I plan on calling them and saying, hey, yo, I'm pushing this shit because it works. So I promoted your product before. Now, yeah, toss me a few bucks, bro. Give me a fucking promo code, bro. Come on, my channel's growing. I'm about to, I, I, I'm gonna hit uh, 1,000 subscribers, hopefully by the um, end of the year. How about throwing a little cheds my way, a little cheds. Just enough to get my beak wet. Just enough to get my beak wet. I'm not asking for a lot. Just enough to get my beak wet. Ah, grueling. Fuck, bro. This is, this is what Miami's become. Traffic at three in the afternoon. All right, I've made it to physical therapy. Let's 409. Let's put the camera in the uh, glove box. Bro, it is a river out there. Well, what do you know? It's 437. All right, I want to show you guys how fucking flooded this street is. Let's see if it died down. When I got here, it was like, fuck it, I thought this car was going to sink. Look at that shit. Well, I'm not going that way. That's the way I came in, and uh, I felt like I, my car was going to... Like, you know, like my car was going to fucking stall. Look, this is a Toyota Corolla. Much like my car. Well, it's really bad over there, actually. Look, it's, it's flush with the curb. Alright, let's get out of here, though. God damn it, it's even bad over here, too. Maybe I... God damn it, bro. Which way is fucking... Alright, we're making a run for it. Whoa! Whoa! God damn it, bro. That's what you have to deal with when you live in South Florida, bro. Where does it get that flooded anywhere else in any other state? All right. Actually, I just saw, saw on the news that New York is flooded right now because they got pelted with one of those hurricanes that didn't, that we avoided. All right. Let's go to my parents' house. Maybe I should sign in. There's a bunch of surges, bro. Okay, so I didn't show it on the way up here, but it was surging just everywhere, everywhere on this map. In, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, before I went to, to therapy. And now it's nothing, right? So, what I tell you, bro, you, you get, you get, uh, you get conned into fucking doing one of these fucking, uh, activating with the, when the whole map is fucking red. And you might get a $6 surge at best. And you're stuck on a shitty ride in this fucking floods and the weather and this traffic is fucking the worst. It's 442 right now. It's the worst right now. Okay, look, now they're back. But look, uh, obviously, I'm never, I'm always, you're always where it's not. You're always where it's not trending. Driving south, I see a $3.50 surge at the airport, which is down actually, because when I checked the, the WhatsApp group chat, there was a $12 surge, like while I was at therapy. So, you know? Hey, you know, this is part of the fucking, part of the problem that this situation, this accident put me in, is that I'm missing out on shit. Just talked, I texted my lawyer, they agree, they're gonna go for the rental, they're gonna go for the time that I can't work, they're gonna, they're gonna go for everything. So, fingers crossed, hopefully I'll get something equitable. I'm watching Oliver Tree on the H3 podcast, I just, I can't say enough good things about Oliver Tree. He's like one of my favorite internet personalities music personalities, just an all-around original guy. Yeah, I'm driving south, it looks like the rain has cleared up uh, considerably, but, you know, I, I feel like yesterday I kind of, I don't like 
those two or three airport rides that I did during the traffic and during in Biscayne and all that, it's like they were so forgettable and they didn't even leave tip. Like, I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna go home to my mom's house, take a little break, wait for the traffic to die out, get something to eat, get energized. It's Friday, we got Drake concert. And on top of Drake concert, it's probably going to be a lot of party years tonight. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work the night. You know why? Why stress out right now? It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna get some things done around the house, and maybe come out like at 7:30, 8 o'clock. This is not a serious person's cup, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it matches the little uh, scrub buddy. <sighs> oh, and two is so there. This one out to right field and it gets down for a base. Base it. Base it above and I'm out with it. Alright, well, I'm going to head back home and relax for, I don't know, an hour or so. And then I'll come back later on in the evening. So. I'm gonna do another diamond. Yeah, a lot of diamonds today. Diamond transition means the passage of time. All right, diamond, diamond, diamond. I just matched up with a, uh, with a uh, radar, UM, UM students. Not a good ride, but whatever. We're gonna knock it out. We're gonna knock it out. You won't believe what time it is. It is super late. I fell asleep. I woke up around the time that I wanted to start. And I said, you know what? It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. You know, I need rest. I woke up way too early this morning. Well, it's in the vlog. And you know what? We need to listen to our body, even if it's a Friday. Anyways, better that it's a Friday to start late because it's going to be a late, long night. Might even get some reservations. They try to throw me a reservation there at 5.30 in the morning from Coral Gables going into like the Cutler Bay, West Kendall, the crossings. And I'm like, this is a weird, weird reservation. It's not to the airport, so I didn't accept it. Anyways, I'm not going to work till 5.30 either. I'll do a 3, 4 o'clock reservation, but that's it. I'm going home after that. All right, let's pick up this UM student and see where the party's at tonight. You know, sometimes you pick up a UM student nearby to do a little recon. Like what if this guy is only going a few blocks, but a few blocks is a goddamn frat party with a bunch of fucking people outside. Now I know, hey, there's a little party there. Maybe I should pass by there on the way back from wherever. You know, it's a recon trip. I'm doing recon. All right, dropped off that kid here at the corner store at UM. $15 to Key Biscayne. You know what, fuck it, let's do it. Key Biscayne's probably gonna light up that Drake concert. You think, you don't think anybody, what the fuck, bro? Requests are taken, please try again. Uh, I didn't get it, it was a radar. Bro, that, that could have been a lucrative one. Yep, Keepy Skane is fucking surging. With 475, it's probably gonna get even crazier. Oh well, so $14 to go to Keepy Skane, that would have been all right if I would have left there with something. Oh well. All right, so we're here, we're by UM, I'm active. Let's go, come on party people. It's early, bro. I slept half the day and it's still early, bro. 9.30, nothing. It was surging at the airport earlier. I'm just complaining by ear, bro. Complaining by ear. All right, well, I had a UM student, another short trip and the guy didn't show up, so I canceled on him and I'm like, what am I doing? Let's just go to the airport. So I'm here at the airport. About to go in the lot. All right, pulling into the lot. There's a $1.75 surge that I just got. And let's see what place in the queue. I'm 51 to 55. 
So let's see what comes out of here. I'm just gonna do airport runs until it's time to go do Drake Land again. And that's it. All right, only been parked here about two minutes and I'm already at 21 to 25, so the line is moving fast. All right, I can't believe it. $20 to Miami Beach. North Miami Beach, but still, 2063. All right, and we gotta fill up the, no, we got enough gas, but we're gonna fill up the tank over there. All right, we are in North Miami Beach. This is my hood. This is technically my hood. <laughs> right here. Here's where my apartment is that I have currently rented out. And my aunt lives by here too. I made it fine the whole way. It didn't light up low fuel until like I was three blocks from the drop off. So kind of impressed with how much the gas tank holds when it looks like it's on E. So we got to we got to fill up some we got to fill up the tank. Maybe it's cuz I dozed off for most of the day, but it doesn't feel like a Friday either. It's 10:39. Not exactly time to get to the Drake concert. See, last night, I got to look at the video last night. When did I get that offer? It had to be after 12 midnight. Today is even going to be crazier, but I don't know. Maybe I should go there early. See if I can get... There was a lot of people that were walking around way before the concert ended. Maybe I can get a ride and come back and get another ride. I don't know. First things first... We need gas. All right, so the thing about being stuck here in North Miami Beach, or Miami Beach in this area, this is um, kind of an expensive area to live in. The street down here, Royal Palm and Prairie Avenue is where those millionaire houses are. This is actually ironically where I was the other day when I was said I was running on fumes. This Shell station has ridiculous prices, but these last Five, six, seven, and eight here. These four pumps, it's got a guy on there. See that guy there? This guy, That's. those are not self-service. That guy sees me pull up, I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna bite the bullet and put a couple gallons of the tank here just to get to a cheaper gas station. And the dude goes, I, as soon as I open the door, the dude goes, can I help you? Like, what the fuck are you doing here? You don't belong here. And he goes, these are not self-service. You got to go to these. For, it'll be cheaper. And I'm like, and I look at the prices and I'm like, oh shit, there are. And I get it. There's a lot of rich people here. They don't want these only gas stations. There's not a lot of gas stations around here. So they don't want their only gas station to turn into a bunch of fucking crackheads trying to buy fucking vape pens and fucking drink beer outside. And they don't want riffraff just coming in here. They don't even want fucking uber drivers i guess filling up their tanks here it's like get in and get the fuck out rich people live here and they don't want your fucking kind here <laughs> you know it's a shitty little shell, shell station too they just don't want they they elevate their prices on purpose i bet and they don't want people hanging around they don't they don't want you the, 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 the convenience is not their game bro if you're there you live in this area and you don't give a fuck about gas prices or uh you're passing through and you just need to fucking get out of here yeah i get it i wonder if this cbs is the same way too it's like it's very hard to moderate what kind of people hang around your neighborhood look they're not fucking around bro cops are pulling over people uh, do not fucking think you're on a joyride on this fucking avenue, bro. This is a major fucking street in Miami Beach that's leading to the fucking 195. Um, headed to the airport. You know, this is not, this area is not to be fucked with. And it's probably why they put all these little lights on these trees here to keep, keep the area nice and lit. No riffraff. Hunted down All right, so now we're at a reasonably priced shell station. 349 as opposed to, I think the one in Miami Beach was like 
four seventy nine. <laughs> it's like a dollar and thirty cents more expensive. <laughs> That's a fucking markup, isn't it? <laughs> you don't belong at this shell station. You belong here at the ghetto one by the airport. All right, so long shell station with reasonable prices. Now half my tank is uh, elite. Two gallons of my tank are upper class and the rest, the head and the other eight, are lower class. All right, I'm here at the lot. Immediately at 41 to 45, so it's moving. It's 1120. Uh, they sent me an opportunity uh, reservation for 6.15 a.m. Coral Gables to airport, check it out. $20 for a short little ride. It is kind of early tomorrow morning. But I think I could set my alarm, log in from my fucking bedroom, and then figure it out. Shouldn't take too long. And the traffic shouldn't be that bad. So, we know how we're gonna end the night, or the morning. $51 to Delray Beach, but this pretty much negates me doing anything at the Drake concert. So I'm not accepting it. It sucks if there was not a Drake concert tonight, I would probably take that ride. All right, 15.59 to Brickle Bay Drive, cool. Then we'll just do Drake right after this. Let's do it. Welcome to the Yacht Club at Brickle. We finished dropping off this dude from the airport. Not so much traffic. Well, we are in Brickle, so we kind of passed Kaseya, but there was a little traffic around the little bridge. And now it is 11.48. And now we just bite the bullet and head towards Biscayne Boulevard, the exact same street, the exact same time as yesterday. And let's see what kind of uh, atmosphere we see. I wouldn't mind, let's see, what am I looking for? Same thing as yesterday, plus $30, you know, $30 plus, and you know, 30 minutes or, or less, I don't know. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, $30, that's fine. Um, I wouldn't mind going north, I don't mind going south either, but maybe north would be better, because there's more shit going on right, right here. Today's probably gonna be a downtown club, Miami Beach club day. Maybe an Aventura would be all right, then we can go down Collins and get some party people. I think Club Live's gonna be jamming tonight, 11, and Space is gonna be jamming tonight. You know, um, we're gonna play it by ear. I don't know how long I wanna deal with party people. Last night, the airport hit around the time that I dropped off those girls from the Drake concert, and I ended up in Pembroke Pines. Christian, the guy from the group chat, he, he showed a screen grab of a freaking awesome ride he got from the airport to Coral Gables for, it was like a $27 or $29 ride. I was like, what? It was like a 24. He said he had a 12, he had a, like a something, a surge on it. And then they tipped him five bucks. So it ended up being like a really lucrative airport to Coral Gables ride. So like kind of missed out on those, on that little time. All right, enough yapping. Let's see what Drake brings on a Friday night. They say tonight's the night. Tonight's gonna be the, the dope night. Yesterday was practice. No one goes out on a Thursday, not anymore. Friday night, Drake concert. No one works tomorrow. People can go out, drink, party, whatever. Not to mention, it's not like everybody in Miami is go at the Drake concert. It's just a fucking opportunity. And for some people, it's just a regular fucking Friday night. And we're here for that too. All right, so of course the Brickle Bridge is up. 
I'm waiting. There's a 975 surge, but obviously it's where it's in the port of Miami where nobody can go. It's not like you can cross that bridge and be like, hey, I got the nine at the 975 surge. No, the closest you can get to that is like right here. And the streets are closed right here. So you have to like turn in there. So we'll see what happens. But uh yeah, the at least it's showing some promise here. I just told the group chat the WhatsApp group chat that the Drake concert is about to let off. You know, Drake. El concierto de Drake. El Drake ese. That's how Latin American people say Drake. FYI. Alright. Bridge is down. All right, where it said 9.75, now says 11, so that's good news. And I'm already seeing people coming down. It's 12.07. You know what's kind of surprising is to see a lot of kids, parents with their kids at this concert. I mean, little kids, like younger than Austin and Kai. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess there's some young Drake fans, right? It's been around for a while though, man. <sighs> All right, I will say the congestion of cars feels a little bit more today. Uh, I feel like yesterday I was already closer. I closed my windows. Fucking dudes are gonna start dropping in my fucking car. By this time yesterday, I was already parked, and I'm not even close to the Freedom Tower. Um, you know what? I should just sign in and see if I get anything right away, because there's plenty of people walking down already. Oh my god, 525, and I'm next to the $10 surge. Okay, come on. Let's see, what do we got? Okay, here's the radar. 37 to Fort Lauderdale, 23 to Miami Beach. 15 to Gables. You know what? We're not ready yet, bro. 37 to Fort Lauderdale. That's not bad. That's similar to the one I did yesterday. Okay. No, 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 no. We're not doing this one. We've signed off. Okay. But it's good to see what's out there. Sort of similar to the offers I saw yesterday. I'm gonna wait. Maybe I should wait out a little bit. We have the Torch of Friendship. Uh, I don't, and I don't know the history of this place, but it seems like a good, good spot to wait for your Uber. We got a lime green Lamborghini next to me. Some Bayside traffic, unrelated to the Drake concert. Uh -huh. All right, I'm close by. Let me try to search for some other offers. See what's out there, 525, 23 to Miami Beach, 23 to Miami Beach, 15, 10, 12. These radars suck. 23 to freaking Fountain Blue. Nope, I'm not doing this. I'm signing off again. Plenty of people still leaving the concert. Plenty, plenty of people still living the, leaving the concert. All right, I'm by the Bayside sign, which is usually where I told people I'm right by the Bayside sign. This is where I picked up my ride from the SZA concert, if you remember that video. The guy was walking towards there, and I'm like, I'm right in front of the Bayside sign. All right, bro, we gotta get something, though. But here's the thing, even if we get something, we're gonna be stuck in this traffic, so I gotta make a left at it eventually. We're getting close, we're getting close. I'm gonna analyze some more offers. All right, by the Bayside sign, every offer I see is way too low, way too short distance. So I'm going to make a left here where I did yesterday and try to park in a side street and um, analyze the or offers a little bit more peacefully. Not stuck in traffic, not with people honking.
Just chaos, chaos, emergency vehicles, police sirens, bumper to bumper traffic. Come on, bro. All right. We are close, we are right by the arena. They closed off the street. But we can see the Kaseya Center now in it, all of its glory. I'm gonna sign in now and try to analyze some more offers as I find parking on the same side street I was at yesterday. Surges, wow, the trip radars are. Surges are the same. I haven't broken 525 on a, on a, on a surge. This guy's telling me to make a Yui. Let's make a Yui. I park again by the McDonald's at Miami Dade Community College, and we're good. Let's see what offers we get. Okay, we can't turn there. 15, 10, 11, 11. Bro, low, low ball offers. And there's a 525 surge. So everybody wants to like, you know, everybody's going very short distances. No fucking way, bro. All right, I'm gonna make up right here. It's also a very young crowd here, you know? I got a 29 to Kendall. Let's see if I match up with it. Uh, no, not matching up. Not doing a shitty ride right into downtown. I did not match up with that Kendall one. I'm just not seeing great rides like yesterday. Yesterday at least, oh bro, there was at least rides in the 20, 25 range going back to the Gables and stuff. 29, Kendall, all right, fuck it, let's do it. Let me, let me call these people, bro, because I ain't going through that fucking traffic jam again. They're back there. Either they're walking to me or I'm canceling. Hey, look what I texted this. I don't see you. Yeah, of course you don't, because I'm fucking across the street, dude. I have a feeling this guy's going to end up canceling on me. It's just... He was right where I made that U-turn. This guy's going to cancel on me, bro. Alright, I canceled on him, bro. I don't, I don't have time for this shit. I'm right by where I picked up my last ride. I think I should wait. 17... Yeah, you know what? I'm signing off for a little bit. Fuck this. Sucks, bro. I mean, it wasn't a great offer, but... It's like... Here's the problem, bro. When it's a clusterfuck like this of jam... of bumper-to-bumper of -bumper traffic and, you know, hordes of people moving in a big area, like... You really have to like micro match up with your Uber. Like if your Uber is like four blocks away, it's, it's like an eternity. You gotta match up with the Uber who's like right by you. Like yesterday I was parked right here across the street from this McDonald's ironically. And the girls, when I matched up with them, they were literally across the street. Perfect, they're like boom, you know? And sometimes it's either the driver cancels or the person cancels. Because if the person sees that I'm like five blocks away and sees a fucking line of fucking red lights of traffic jam, like, w w what is he going to do? He's like, fuck that. Let's cancel and see if we can get a, an Uber closer. In any case, this is turning out to be a lot worse than yesterday. It's almost like this is bordering on the frustration level of we just need to get out of here. And when that happens... You end up taking a ride that ain't worth it, and you spent 45 minutes waiting here, and it wasn't worth it. So, I don't know. Fuck. Maybe we should just take something out of here and go back, try to get some airport runs. It's already too late. I don't know. Coconut Grove. I don't know. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. Not feeling it, guys. The map looks the same. $11 in the Port of Miami where no one can get it. And everybody around here is stuck in that $550, $575. Shit, I should have just stayed in Brickle where I dropped off my customer. It's $8 there. Uh, anyways, that's probably going to send me up here anyways. Hey, look. Regatta. 
Coconut Grove, South Miami, Pinecrest is all trending here now. All right, let's let's try to fuck. See, that's why. Look, airports trending, bro. We just need to get something, bro. Okay, 625 surge. That's the biggest surge I've had. 18 to Doral, no. Twenty six to Coral Gables. This is good. This is promising. Twenty six to Coral Gables. No. Multiple stops. Fourteen. No. I want that twenty six to Coral Gables. What happened? What the fuck happened? Look at all these rides. Twenty to fucking Grove. Grove's trending. All right. Twenty to Grove. No. Don't want to go to the beach. They are not giving me the shit that I want. 25, Hialeah, ugh, fuck! Well, Hialeah's close to the airport. I'll do 25 to Hialeah. All right, 25 to Hialeah, right by the airport. Cur Curtis Drive, all right, that's perfect. Where are you, my son? He's by Bayside, all right. All right, I contacted the customer there by Bayside, and I'm gonna pick her up. It's a girl, and uh, yeah, we're on our way out. Hey, 25, not the plus 30 that I wanted, but things were starting to get a little bit desperate, and the offers were bad. Like 11 bucks, bro, for that, I would've just skipped the concert and just kept getting airport rides. And since everybody's here, now the airport's trending, so, and we're gonna end up near the airport because this is right by right by Curtis Parkway which is 57th Avenue right by the airport so I'm just gonna keep doing airport runs if I can get something if not I'm going back to the Grove working the rest of the night this is a fucking turmoil bro alrighty then we have dropped off our clients in Hialeah Actually, pretty nice area of Hialeah, believe it or not. Just very suburban area. Um, nice couple. They were tired. And now we're close to the airport. And we'll see what's going on there. Maybe there's still a surge. There's some surges somewhere, but it's not at the airport. Um, fell back. You know what? Here's what happened. Yesterday, I was seeing better rides. Why? Because everybody was just going home after the great concert. So there were rides that were going far away. Today is Friday. People ain't going home. People were like Ubering to their next stop. You know? Clubs in Brickell, clubs in Miami Beach, you know, short, shorter rides. They weren't going home. That's my theory. All right. All right, listen, I'm gonna, I, this is probably gonna be a pain in the ass to fucking edit with all those little clips that I just did. Um, <laughs> I wish I had it in me. Right? I wish I had it in me to not, you know, to keep fucking ranting and raving, but you know what? We gotta call it, bro. I know this was probably a boring vlog. Well, actually, it was a long, drawn-out vlog. Fucking started in the morning, going to the doctor's appointment. Oh, man, what had happened to the Marlins? Who won the Marlins game? Marlins won 4-3. Shit, they were losing the entire game until like the fucking eighth inning or some shit. Dude, they came back. That's good news. All right, listen. I'm showing 64-25, but my night 
is far from over. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna keep going, and this is what I made. For not working half the day. Probably not that bad. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe with a B, B, B. And if you think I'm sus, then subscribe. And I know Willie's going to point out that subscribe that I did earlier in the vlog. Okay. Don't think I missed it, Willie. I know I said it wrong. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow.